Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for March the 9th, brought to you today by senior editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Valiant Pharmaceuticals appointed three new independent directors, increasing the size of the company's board to 14 members. One of the new directors is Stephen Fraydin, Vice Chairman at Pershing Square Capital Management, Valiant's third largest shareholder. The new appointments also include Fred Eshelman and Thomas W. Ross, while Anders Lonner has stepped down as a director due to other priorities and personal commitments. In other news, Amarin entered into an agreement with the FDA allowing the drug maker to promote Vescepa for off-label uses. The agency agreed to be bound by a court ruling permitting Amarin to engage in truthful and non-misleading speech promoting the product. In addition, an effort by authorities in China to control drug prices has resulted in a slowing of growth in the country's pharmaceutical market. Specifically, GlaxoSmithKline's revenue in China plunged 25% in the fourth quarter of last year, while sales growth for Merck and Co. dropped to 2%. And finally, the FDA lifted a partial clinical hold on Medivation's experimental drug Pidilizumab. The company added that information on the agent has been revised to reflect the understanding that PD-1 is not the target of the compound. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 